guys, it's Eugene, welcome back to uh, Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 104, and we're here with some more UU, we're gonna be using the same Mamo Swine team, cause you know Mamo is actually really really good, and incredibly strong, and amazing, so we're gonna continue that, anyway, this guy's team looks pretty cool, looks like some sort of baton pass shenanigans, as Lucario just loaded in, your boy was late, <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm gonna go into Empoleon right here as my lead because I can scald the scald the uh, Azelf turn one and it actually hits with moderate power, which is always great and I can bluff the defog and Deter him from setting up screens. Maybe We'll see because I could very easily see his team being screens. I could imagine this being like rain dance this being Ah, oh, nice, the 2 KO, and the burn, easy. Um, the question is, do I get rocks up? I I'm actually gonna get rocks up right here, because if I can limit Shandy switch-ins, that's beautiful. Anyway, I'd imagine this Rain Dance perp, uh, Spec Shandy, SD Lucario, Calm Mind, Espeon, and Rock Polish Tyrantor. Or DD, either one, because both those sets are viable. But he ends up revealing the T-Bolt, which is really unfortunate, as he ends up being Life Orb. So, your boy would have gotten to a KO'd had he not died to Life Orb and Burn. The Azelf, that is. So, this puts me in a pretty good position, I think, because... Empoleon wasn't really doing much for me, anyway, this game. Sure, like, it was taking a head smash, but... You know, we're one step closer to Scarf Shadow basically coming in and getting a kill. He goes in a Luke right here, which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to go straight away for a Scald because I don't want him setting up an SD in my face. And... Which I could see him doing, to be honest. Uh, actually, he just goes for the CC, so it ends up working out for me. Because I'm just going straight out into Crobat and clicking U-turn because I feel like he's not going to want to stay in here considering his stab, it, both of his stabs are not very effective, so... Yeah, I'm just clicking U-turn right here. I'd imagine we'll see Tyrantrum, in which case I'm just going straight back out into, or straight out into Shao rather, or I could go out into Mamo, depending on the base speed of Tyrantrum, which hits 265. So no matter what, I will outspeed this thing. So I'm going straight out into Mamo because Mamo should theoretically get a kill right here. The only issue is that it leaves me a little more wide open to Pert, um, which you know I kind of want to run freeze dry on this, but it's not worth it to be honest. So. Yeah, once Showdown decides to get it get it together, um, we can just yeah we're at a mammo now, easy. So Rockhead, I'd imagine he's Bandit or DD. So I I really hope he's not Scarf because this is a huge problem if you Scarf. Although he does have a couple of other viable Scarfers as well as the potential for like Rain Dance Pert. So don't really think he needs the thing is i just end up critting pert like it would have two it came anyway and he was rain dance so <laughs> mammals mammal swine is out here just destroying people right now uh he goes out into his lucario which you know is fine i'm just gonna go straight out into crobat hoping he doesn't sd in my face although i don't think he'll do that though because i could theoretically just eq here and basically win because i speed tie with shandy as he ends up sd'ing to each his own really don't feel like that was the play at all but i'm just clicking brave bird because i don't think he'll be able to knock me out with the with a plus one e speed uh well like clearly he'll be able to knock crowbat out but i mean uh mince because mince is a very good mon um kind of tempted to do dd right here but i can't play around with threats so consequently i will not be able to although it's looking like mens could clean up as well we're going to go ahead and start the timer because this is just getting kind of ridiculous. We're, yeah, anyway, um, it's looking like Mance can clean up as well because that'll die to EQ, EQ, Outrage, Outrage. So, anyway, we come in, we get the attack drop with Intimidate. Yeah, you know, it's whatever. It's basically just going mi to minimize the E-Speed damage, which still does so much. Oh, my God. Uh, so, Lucario is clearly a problem to this team. And... Uh, I, I may actually run a Black Sludge on Crobat because having survivability is nice so that I'm not forced to give away momentum by clicking Roost. Anyway, we'll see what he decides to go out into right here. It ends up being Espeon. This is clearly his best play. Uh, I'm just clicking DD on the off chance that he like, call mines or sets up a light screen or a reflect or whatever because uh, it would be nice to try to outpace some stuff. So he just ends up knocking me out with the Psy Shock. Um, we don't know what item he is, though, so I'm kind of tempted to say he specs. Um, 
either way, Xiao is my best play. I do believe, because unless he's max physical defense, which I don't think he is considering how fast he is, then I can knock him out with the knockoff, and I can knock that out with the knockoff, and things are looking up. Um, if, he, if he goes out in a Tyrantrum, I'm going to sack Entei, because I can't risk him being s Scarf and being it. Okay, that, that made zero sense at all. Let me try to rephrase this. So, if I knock him out with the knockoff right here, and he goes out in a Tyrantrum, I'm sacking Entei. As he just goes out in a Shandy, and sacks it to the knockoff. So, you know, that is fine. Uh, he was Scarf, so now, um... Now Mamo actually has kind of free reign, and I'm assuming he specs, um, Espeon. He goes out in a Tyrantrum. So, sorry, I'm gonna have to do it to you, Entei, but, uh, can't really risk just straight losing. So... You know how it is. Um, you put in a decent amount, a decent amount of work last game, but uh, yeah, you're dying. You're dying to a head smash. So I'm just gonna go into Mamo, and uh, I believe I can get away with clicking Life Orb Ice Shard right here, just because I don't want to risk him being scarfed. So that is what I'm gonna do, and I'd imagine he's just gonna sack this either way. Actually, is EQ my best play? No. Yeah, EQ was by far my best play. Sick. Um, I may actually lose this game now. Because what I should have done is click EQ. And Actually, no, Ice Shard was the best play. Because in the scenario that this thing is Scarf, then I get damage on it to where I can knock it off. Knock it out with a knockoff, although it, although it makes zero sense for it to be Scarfed because he had another Scarfer. But, you know, um, <laughs> I guess it is how it is. We're going to go ahead and pause until he makes a move, and uh, we'll be right back. Anyway, okay, so ended up knocking out Tyrantrum. He was banded, so let's hope this knockoff kills. Um, and let's hope he's not like Colber. Anyway, I ended up knocking him out. Crit did not matter. He's Sash, so uh, that's great. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab another one, I do believe. Um, what, what's my rank? 1499. We're, we're creeping closer back to 1500 because I tilted really bad. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pause it until we get one because no filler time allowed. Alrighty, uh, we're back, and this guy's team is threatening because this pretty much gets a kill because Empoleon won't take hits as well because it is offensive, but I'm just leading with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead with me and Shower right here because it can get a free U-turn off on something or knock off depending on what he leads with. If he leads with Snorlax for whatever reason, I am knock offing, knocking off, not knock offing, either one, I don't know. Because I feel like the switch to Shandy would be pretty obvious there. But it's looking like Mamo can have a little bit of a fun time if I weaken Blastoise and I confirm that he's defensive Whimsicott. Although, like, I think he's defensive just looking at the structure of his team. But we shall have to see. People are either people are not making moves on Showdown today or. Things are just all sorts of messed up with the lag, and I'm not quite sure which one it is. Actually, is Crobat had a better lead for me? Um, we're, we're just, yeah, there it is. There we go. Uh, nah, Crobat was definitely not a better lead for me. I'm going straight away for the U-turn, just because I can't risk knocking off a crook and losing me and Xiao, as opposed to being able to risk, like, a return from Snorlax or whatever. So, I'm just going straight away for the U-turn. If he goes out in a Shandy, he goes out in a Shandy, and... You know, we live. Also, Mence is looking like it can have a little bit of a field day. Because it does have Iron Tail, assuming it hits, to beat Whimsicott. Um, yeah, Iron Tail is a really cool move on Mence, especially Hone Claws Mence, because, you know, fantastic, as he does go into Shandy. Ah, unfortunate. Anyway, I'm probably just going to go out to Empoleon right here, because I can get up my rocks. And that's very helpful. Despite the fact that I don't have a spin blocker like Shandy, um, it's still great to be able to just have to force him to spin. And I can always grass knot versus it if that's what he chooses to do. Although I kind of feel like he'll go crook right here, in which case I can finally reveal the fact that I have Shookaberry and uh, knock him out with the Scald. So, we, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens because he could very well just be Specs and blast me into oblivion right here which would be really really unfortunate but i guess it would be something we gotta live with so hey brenna's here look fancy that man anyway this guy okay we're, we're gonna go ahead and hit him with a timer i cannot stand 
how long this battle is taken as he ends up going straight at Nathaniel Axe, which I guess is fine, um, because your boy is just going to go to Crobat and Taunt, because I can stop him from acquiring too many boosts, at which point I can probably just go and try to pivot into me and Xiao, so... Um, as he goes straight away for a curse, uh-uh, we are not having that, um, that is a travesty, and, <laughs> and at which point, like, after I taunt, I may just Brave Bird, because this really isn't doing that much for me in this game, Be actually, it comes in on Whimsicott 100% of the time, which is super nice, so if I can, as he goes for no para, nice, alright, yeah, I'm just U-turning right here. Because that body slam is doing a little too much for my liking. And I kind of want to actually just go out into Empoleon. But I don't have Roar, which is really unfortunate. But, you know, I guess the virtues of offensive versus defensive Empoleon. Defensive is probably better in most cases. But I was tired of it being just incredibly passive. And it also was just... It begged for Mammo to come in on, like, rocks or whatever. So... I'm just going to go out into immense right here, I think, because I can DD up on this, seeing how much his body slam does, because now he's a neutral attack. Gets a crit, nice, um, as expected, and I'm just going to DD, because I need to weaken this thing, because this thing is a pain, it's a complete pain, it's so annoying. Um, let's see, he got a crit, 60, 40, yeah, like, I, I, I should live, theoretically, even though that was kind of bullshit, but it's okay. Um, if not, we're going to have to test Mammo's Might right here and see what it can do versus this thing, because uh, it's kind of a shame I'm not running Superpower, but I feel like Knock Off is a lot better, because the things you're hitting with Superpower, like Dark Types, um, are, like, you, you can beat those with other things. He goes straight out into Whimsicott, though. Um, I can knock this out with an Iron Tail, I think. Assuming I hit. If he encores, then that's really unfortunate, but I really don't feel like he's going to encore. Um, I feel like he's just going to go for Stun Spore or Moon Blast or whatever, thinking that he can knock me out. Please, for the love of God, hit Iron Tail. If I hit Iron Tail, I'm in such a good position, because then a lot of his team is pretty much just EQ fodder, but he ends up um, going straight away for the encore, so fair enough. Fair play. Um, I'm just gonna go into Crobat, because I can get momentum on this for free. He goes for the Moonblast, which is fine. Um, I actually do kind of need a Roost right here, which is a little bit unfortunate, because I would love to U-turn and get more momentum as he goes into Dragalge. Uh-oh! <laughs> Looks like we're going into Empoleon, and we're clicking Ice Beam, and hoping we can get a kill. Because this is about to hurt a lot. Um, I think it'll do upwards of 60% if he specs. Uh, it... Like, I'm assuming he's just going to click Draco right here. I feel like Sludge Wave would be a really subpar play. Um, so he gets up a T-Spike. Good play. Really good play. This guy knows what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, I'm clicking Ice Beam right here because, you know, the it, if I can get, like, a good chunk of damage off on this, it makes it infinitely easier for the rest of my team to deal with. Um, Mammo is also looking like it can come in after Dragalge kills something and can click EQ relatively for free because like Whimsicott still exists but I don't feel like he would bring it directly out so he goes into Snorlax right here which is a pain don't do this to me please um I'm just gonna go straight out to me and Xiao because and I'll and I'll probably end up clicking knock off because I don't feel like he wants to take a high jump kick at this range of HP and my brother is dribbling a basketball, and it's really obnoxious, but sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to wait for this guy to make a play, and I'm going to maybe go run up and talk to my brother and tell him to not dribble the basketball while your boy is trying to make this fresh content. So, uh, I'll be right back. Anyway, we back. Um, he just ended up staying in, which I guess is a little unfortunate for me because I actually really need this thing gone, and it's a pain but I'm just gonna DD again cuz I kinda feel like he'll stay in right here and try to knock me out with the body slam because like I honestly don't feel like it's a horrible play for him to do that just being honest but you know we'll, we'll see what he d opts to do uh, because you know he, I don't feel like his plays have been like out of left field or anything but 
you know, like he, uh, a lot of his stuff, I guess, just hasn't been super conventional. He does end up going for the body slam right here. Doesn't KO, which is super nice, because I can just go ahead and click uh, Outrage right here. We're going to go ahead and pause it um, until he makes a move, because, like, PS is taking forever today. Actually, no, never mind. It's not. Uh, um, thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, I do weaken Snorlax, which is really nice, and just means I can kind of go into Mammo right here. So, wait, hold, hold up, guys. Sorry, something just popped up. All right, I'm back. Um, right here, I'm just going to go and click EQ because it is my best play, and Mamo can get a kill right quick. Um, he does go into his Blastoise, but I feel like this is getting too KO'd. Definitely getting too KO'd. Goodbye. <laughs> I am Mamo, Destroyer of Tears. So... <laughs> Ah, oh, God, I love Mammo. It's gonna suck when it gets banned. Because, like, I honestly do think it'll get banned. Um, because, you know, like, this thing is confirmed for not switching. Indeed. Um, I feel like his best play right here is just to sack this Blastoise. Because as cool as it is to have for him, like, yeah, he just megas to show it off. Um, he did do a good job of wearing down Mammo with that T-Spike, but he's in a really bad position <laughs> right here. Um... Um, okay, so I think I have his team about figured out. Like, we know he's Curselax, he's Black Glasses Crook, he's uh, Black Sludge Dragalge, we've already seen that, he's Scarf Shandy, and he's Defensive Whimsicott. So, I feel like how I'm going to win is getting rid of Shandy somehow, we'll figure it out, and then subsequently um, winning with Entei, because Entei can start spamming Sacred Fire, and... The combination of Entei plus Mammo should just bring home the game. He goes down to Whimscott right here, which is 100% fine, because your boy does have a Crobat just chilling right here. Um, and if he does go into Dragalge, on, like if he U-turns out right here, which would be a really good play, um, I'm just going to click Brave Bird. He ends up seeding right here, so I'm a, yeah, he's definitely this like bullshit defensive set. But he can't sub up on me, which is great, because I am Infiltrator. And uh, I will go through his subs. I really hope he subs up right here, because that would be really nice. He goes for the stun spore and misses, unfortunate. Um, but he, like, he doesn't even die. What is this? <laughs> yeah, we're just clicking uh, Brave Bird. But actually, I can maybe win with Mammo if I get rid of Crook. He goes into Crook right here, which is fine. Because we're just Brave Bird. Now, I'm going to go for the U-turn. Because I can come in with this again. Um, and go for the Roost. If I do get it in on, like, minus 2 Dragalge. Or if I get a free switch in versus Whimsicott. Which is very nice. Um, so, you know, we'll see what he decides to do right here. I'm really assuming he's just going to try to get his rocks up. But either way, I don't think it's going to be an issue for me. We're going to go and pause it. And never mind, we are not going to pause it. We get off a good little chunk right there. Please don't knock. Please don't knock. Please don't knock. Gets up his rocks. Easy. Um, so now I can just go straight away for the Scald and uh, knock him out. Revealing the innovation that is Shuka and Polion. Um, I honestly think Shuka is a really fun set because it allows you to beat stuff like Crook 1v1 and always very nice on that front. If he does go out into Whimsicott, I don't mind being Encored into arguably the best move in the game. Um, and then Shandy will not switch in. Dragalge, I actually kind of beat Dragalge 1v1. Not like beat it, beat it, because like I'm going to take 90%, uh, but he goes into Whimsicott right here. If I do get the burn, I think this will be a KO. Nice! There it is! There it is! Um, so if we're gonna go ahead and see what he goes into right here, and we'll be right back. Weird play, I think, because you boy is just getting another kill with Scald, unless he's the world's fastest Snorlax. So, maybe he's just sacking this to maybe see what item I am, or whatever. But, I don't know, kind of a weird play, I think. But... Now that Whimsicott is out of the way, it makes it a lot easier for Mammo just to come in and click Earthquake. Um, also makes it a little easier on... It makes it a lot easier on Empoleon. I feel like I'm going to have to use my sack with Crobat very wisely. I feel like it's going to be to scout what mod he goes into. Uh, or what move he goes for with Shandy. But anyway, once I get this out of the way... Ah, the Shuka chewed! <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> we end up knocking it out with the Scald right there. So that's very, very nice uh, for me. Beautiful. 
We'll see what he goes into, though. I, I, I would assume he goes into Shandy right here. Um, we're going into Crobat either way to hopefully chew this hit. Well, obvi obviously not chew this hit, but just to see what he goes for. If he goes for the Fire Blast, then, like, I actually don't know what item he is. That's the issue. Goes for the Energy Ball. It's easy! <laughs> um, this is so nice. Oh, my gosh. Shoutouts. Um, yeah, I can just click Stone Edge right here, I think. And hopefully get a kill. Because if I hit both my Stone Edges, then that dies for sure. Um, then he's forced to come in and click Shadow Ball, meaning I'm fairly certain Mammo can take one, hit him with a Life Orb Ice Shard, um, and do the deed. I, like, I'm almost 100% sure he's Scarfed, so I'm, like, factoring that out of it. Anyway, we're going for Stone Edge. If he sacks this, I straight up win. If this hits, please, for the love of God, hit. Thank you. Got him. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are indeed hopefully bringing this one home. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Scarf Shadow Ball will kill Empoleon from 33%. Anyway, we're clicking Stone Edge again just in case he can't kill this. Um, come on. Nice! We are faster he specs. So that is a very, very good game. Um, it was the 3-0, but it was really a lot closer than that. But anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's commento question of the video. Um, hmm... What, what, sh what should we do for this one? Uh, that's actually a good question. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with what is one mon that often finds its way onto your guys' teams? Um, for UU, which is like probably my home tier, I guess. It's it's Crobat. Like, Crobat is just such a splashable mon. It's so great. Anyway, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.